podcast people. It's me, Arthur, with the Arthur Podcast. What's up, Podcast Nation? <laughs> That's Buster. My friends and I are at the creek for a picnic. Here we go, the perfect spot, right by the creek. Francine always picks the spot. And I always bring the blanket. LaDonna Thompson, protecting the world from wet pants. <laughs> I brought sandwiches. Yum. Mm. This is mm. hard so to taste. this. I brought something delicious. Dried mushroom pate with truffle oil on an artisanal onion crisp bread. Uh, Muffy, is that food? It's haut cuisine. Well, I don't know what hope means, but I have some doubts about the cuisine part. Here, have one of these sandwiches. My dad made them for us. He sent cookies, too. Um, the tuna on this sandwich sure smells a little, uh, different, right? Tuna? The sandwiches are cheese. Ah, then what's that awful smell? I think it's coming from the creek. Let's check it out. Gross! Oh, oh, no. No. oh no! Podcast people, the creek looks terrible. The water is thick and yucky, and the plants are brown, and there are dead fish floating around. Ew! I just lost my appetite. I'm going to record a video on my phone. Oh, this is awful. It's terrible. I don't really think it's the perfect picnic spot anymore. Ugh. Want to take our picnic back to my yard? Away from the stink? Yes, please. I guess. Pack it up. Well, at least we're still outside. Oh, yeah, ah. sure. I guess. Arthur's yard is better than anything with dead fish in it. Sorry about your creekside picnic, everyone. I made you some lemonade to cheer you up. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. Delish. You know, that creek has been getting worse and worse. It's mainly due to the way people care for their lawns. What do lawns have to do with it? Well, some fertilizers contain toxic chemicals. When we use too much, the extra chemicals spill into the streets and it ends up in the creek. So someone's green lawn fertilizers are making our creek gross? That's terrible. I know, but it's pretty hard to get people to change their habits. Well, enjoy the lemonade. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mr. Reed. Hey, Buster, is that video you took at the creek still on your phone? Yep. Then maybe we should show it to more people. No one wants to see those dead fish, Francine. That's the point. People need to see what's happening. If they knew what we knew, maybe we could help the creek. You mean like show it on YouTube? Yes. Want to help me turn Buster's recording into a cool video? Sure. We can use my microphone. Whatever you need, Francine. Especially if there are snacks. You're eating snacks now, Buster. I'll help you write the script, Francine. Ahem. Buffy Crosswire here, head of the Crosswire Motors video channel. I have the most video expertise and make the classiest used car videos on YouTube. So you need me. Great. Thanks, everyone. Let's get to work. Okay, podcast people. We've been working all afternoon, and now we're ready to shoot our video. Buffy is directing. Okay, Buster. You're a grown-up. And this is your lawn. You want it to be green. In three, two, one, action! My lawn is green, but I wish it was even greener. Super green. Hmm. I know. I'll use some extra lawn fertilizer. I'll spray it on with this hose. Okay, here's my part. I'm the next door neighbor who sees what he's doing. Hey! That sneaky Pete is using extra lawn fertilizer. There's no way I'm going to let his grass be greener than mine. I'm going to spray extra fertilizer, too, with extra chemicals. Nice lawn, neighbor. Yours, too, neighbor. Then Muffy films the yucky green chemical water running into the gutter. We made the water green with food coloring. Cool special effect, right? Oh, and now here's Francine's part. Lawn fertilizer. It sounds harmless. Just something to help the grass grow. 
But if you use too much or don't follow the directions, those chemicals can end up in creeks, rivers, and the ocean. Take a look at this. And this is where we show Buster's video of the dirty creek. Nothing can live without clean drinking water. Don't believe me? Just ask all those dead fish. A green lawn is nice, but it shouldn't cost the lives of animals. Cut! That was it! It was perfect! We did it! I'll go home and post it on YouTube right away. Then I'll send you the link and you can send it to everyone you know. How about smoothies at the Sugar Bowl tomorrow? We can celebrate and see how many views it has. Yes! See you there! Perfect! A green lawn is nice, but it shouldn't cost the lives of animals. It looks so good, Muffy. Yeah, totally professional. How many views do we have? Let's see. Since I put it up yesterday, we have 429 views. Oh, oh I can't believe that. it. That's a lot. Buster, guess what? We already have 429 views. Well, it's going to be a lot more than that soon. The newspaper where my mom works wants to put it on their website. Amazing. Oh, wow. Cool, right? And that's not all. My mom emailed it to the city's parks department, and they want one of us to give a speech about the creek at their Earth Day rally. Wow, that's a big event. Who should do it? I will. It'll be a great opportunity to promote Alien Awareness Day. Um, yeah, maybe someone else should do it. We'll get there. <sighs> will we? Hey, podcast people. LaDonna and Francine have been working all week. And LaDonna said that Francine was ready for an audience now. So here we are. Buster, Muffy, George, Binky, Brain, Bud, and me are all in my living room. <gasps> here they come. Surprise! What are you all doing here? We're your test audience. Francine, you are ready. And these are your friends, so there's no pressure. Right. Um, no pressure. Not like I'm the captain of a submarine or something. Okay, crew, prepare to launch the Save the Creek speech. Oh, I warn you, Captain. The anxiety capacitors have been overloaded. Try the courage boosters. Not working, Captain. Try the focus torpedoes. The deep breathing sonar. The no pressure periscope. It's no use, Captain. We're going down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was just thinking um, if I was captain of... Never mind. <sighs> okay. Gaties and lentlemen. Oops. Oh, boy. Let me try that again. Gaties and lentlemen. I may only be the third person to be a grader. No, that's not it. I play outside. Every day with dead fish. Ugh, forget it. I can't do this. It was short, but very powerful. Come on, Arthur. Let's go find her. Francine! 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 Where are you? I'm in the treehouse, but I'm not coming down. And I'm definitely not giving that speech. Okay, then we're coming up. I can't do it, LaDonna. Sure you can. It's just one little speech. Yeah, one little speech in front of a huge crowd of strangers. The worst part is, this is an issue I really care about. LaDonna, you're such a good public speaker. Will you do it? But, Francine, this was all your idea. I know, Arthur, but I might mess it up. I think LaDonna is my best chance at people hearing my ideas. I think you can do it, Francine. But I'll give your speech tomorrow if that's what you really want. Thanks, LaDonna. The creek is too important. Podcast people, today is the big Earth Day rally. Buster and Muffy and I are walking there. I feel a little bad that Francine isn't giving her speech. Yeah, the creek means a lot to her. Podcast people, 
I bet you have things you care about too. I'm checking my inbox to hear about the ideas that are important to you. So an issue that's important to me is at school, there are so many trash in the lunchroom and a speech that I would make about it is, please don't forget, when you go to recess, clean up what's on the floor, top to bottom, left to right. One issue that is really important to me are wildfires that happen all around the world. An issue that's really important to me is choosing the right leaders. Cool, awesome. those are important things. Whoa, look at all the people in the park. The rally got a really big crowd. I think I see LaDonna by the stage. Come on. And now, a young activist will be talking to you about Elwood City's Creek. Let's welcome to the stage, LaDonna Thompson. Ladies and gentlemen, this speech is by Francine Frensky, a tireless crusader for the environment and my friend. <clears throat> I know I'm only a third grader, but I know a lot about the environment, because I play in it every... Oh, um... Oh, my. The environment just blew the speech away. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, but it's okay. I'm just going to wing it like a bird. <laughs> so, as I was saying, I play outside every day. Except when it's raining, then I read, but, but not outside. Or the pages of my book will get wet, and well, that wouldn't be good. <clears throat> oh, good. My friend is here. Uh, hold, please. <laughs> it's okay. I got it. Phew. Go get him, Francine. Thanks, LaDonna. Um, you'll have to excuse me. I'm Francine Frensky, and I've discovered two things in the past week. That our creek is polluted, and that I'm a terrible public speaker. I play outside every day, and I was shocked to find that our creek was filled with dead fish. Then I learned that lawn fertilizer might be why those fish died. A lot of people don't use the fertilizer properly, or they use too much. Then the fertilizer gets into our water systems and causes all sorts of trouble. That's why I'm asking each of you at this rally today to think about how you might impact the environment. Even something as small as the way you treat your own lawn. This is the only home we have. Let's take care of our creek. Yay! Way to go, friends. You were incredible! Thanks, LaDonna. I never could have done it without your help. You're so welcome. Francine, you did it! Amazing, Francine! Fantabulous! I filmed it all and I've already uploaded it to YouTube. You'll probably be flooded with invitations to speak. No way! No more public speaking. <laughs> hey, do I smell kettle corn? Yeah, I saw them setting up. You want some? I do have my picnic blanket. Then what are we waiting for? Picnic redo! Podcast people, I gotta go. There's a kettle corn picnic about to happen at our creek. With the one and only Francine Frensky, guardian of the creek. Francine! Francine! Aw, thanks, everyone. <laughs> You've been listening to the Arthur Podcast. Hey, parents, do you want your kids to answer my next inbox question? First, go to the Arthur website at pbskids.org to find out what I'll be asking. Then email me a voice recording of your child's response to arthur at wgbh.org. Your child's answer might even be featured on a future podcast. That's the show, Podcast Nation. If you liked it, Ask your grown-up to subscribe so you don't miss any new episodes. You can listen to all our podcasts, play games, and more at pbskids.org. The Arthur Podcast is produced for PBS Kids by GBH Kids in partnership with Gen Z Media and distributed by PRX. Thanks for listening and have a wonderful kind of day. And I say, hey, what a wonderful kind of day. If you can learn to work and play. Get along with each other You got to listen to your heart Listen to the beat Listen to the rhythm The rhythm on the street Open up your eyes Open up your ears Get together and make things better By working together GBH Kids